today let's discuss about lines and angles let's look at the first problem it's given AB so AB is a straight line AB and CD CD again is a straight line though I'm not drawing this line too straight intersect at O so this is C D they intersect at O and then we have another ray E which forms E which forms an angle B O E this is A okay now it's given that A O C plus angle B O E is equal to 70 degrees so this is given to us and also angle B O D is equal to 40 degree so this angle is equal to 40 degree and sum of this angle and this angle is equal to 70 degree now what we need to find is so find first what we need to find is angle BOE so we need to find angle BOE and we need to find reflex of angle COE reflex of angle COE so BOE is this angle that we need to find and reflex of angle COE so reflex of this angle will be this 360 minus this angle so that means this 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 angle is what we need to find which is the reflex of COE now first let's find angle BOE now let's look at the solution now as we know angle AOC plus angle BOE is equal to 70 degree let's call it as equation 1 and we also know AOC is equal to angle BOD uh, this is D which is looking like O so it's angle BOD actually so angle AOC is equal to angle BOD because they're vertically opposite angles which is equal to 40 degree because BOD is given that it's 40 degree so these are vertically opposite angles so let's call it as equation 2 so from 1 and 2 so from equation 1 and equation 2 what we see is AOC plus BOE so AOC can be replaced by 40 degree so 40 plus angle BOE gives us 70 degree this implies angle BOE is equal to 70 minus 40 is equal to 30 degree so angle BOE is equal to 30 degree so this is the first angle that we're supposed to find now let's find reflex COE now the reflex of angle COE will be angle AOC so reflex of angle COE COE is equal to this angle plus this angle which is angle AOC plus angle BOE plus this entire angle which is AOB which is in fact a straight line which is equal to we know AOC plus BOE is equal to 70 degree 
and angle AOB being a straight line is equal to 180 degree which gives us 70 plus 180 is equal to 250 degree so reflex of angle COE is equal to angle 250 degree okay now let's look at another problem let me just scroll down okay let's look at problem number two it says XY and MN intersect at O so let me draw the figure first so we have XY which is a straight line is intersected by M M N at O so this is point O and then there's a point P here there's a point P here let me just make it write it again so there's a point P here wherein P O Y is equal to 90 degree so this is a 90 degree angle and these two angles are given as angle A angle B and this is given as angle C. Now it's given that if A is to B is equal to 2 is to 3 so the ratio of A and B is equal to 2 is to 3 so we need to find C. Now let's look at the solution this problem. Now as A and B are in the ratio of 2 and 2 is to 3 so let's say uh, let's suppose uh, uh, so let's say that uh, A is equal to 2x and B is equal to 3x. Now since angle A plus B plus 90 uh, which is angle P O Y is equal to 180 degree so A ok so A can be written as 2x B is equal to 3x is equal to 180 minus 90 which gives you 90 so this means this implies 5x is equal to 90 degree which implies x is equal to 90 by uh, 5 sorry it's not 15 it's 90 divided by 5 which gives us x is equal to 18 degree so angle A will be equal to 2x that is 2 into 18 is equal to 36 degree and angle B is equal to 3x which is 3 into 18 which is equal to 54 degrees now also we know angle C plus B is equal to 180 degree because they are forming a straight angle on line MN so C plus B is equal to 54 degree is equal to 180 degree so this is 54 so this implies C is equal to 180 minus 54 
so which is equal to 126 degree so angle C we have got as 126 degree which we were supposed to find okay let's look at another problem okay let me call it as problem number three so let's look at this figure wherein we have this line as straight line which is S T on this we have this triangle P Q and R now it's given that PQR is equal to PRQ so angle PQR is equal to angle PRQ so it's given so it's given that angle PQR is equal to angle PRQ we need to prove so prove angle PQS is equal to angle PRT so it's a pretty simple uh, problem so let's look at a solution let's look at the solution to this problem now we know angle P Q so this is PQ S plus angle PQR is equal to 180 degree also angle P R T so angle P R T plus angle P R Q is equal to 180 degree so if I call this equation as 1 and this equation is 2 so from equation 1 and 2 we have P Q S angle P Q S plus angle PQR is equal to angle uh, PRT plus angle PRQ. Now, since angle PQR is equal to P angle PRQ, since this angle PQR is equal to angle PRQ, so these two get cancelled. So, what we get is so this implies we get PQS angle PQS is equal to angle PRT so this is what we are supposed to prove 